Hello and what is up you guys? Welcome back to another entry of REM Diary. Today is October 24th and before y'all are like, whoa, a little bit of a day gap here. I know I've been really tired. I just, some mornings I wake up and I don't want to do anything. I have worked for the past 13 days straight, including the Sunday, because Sunday I still had to do haircut, groceries, do laundry, cook. You guys know the whole nine. A chores day is not a day off. You know what I mean? So for the past couple of days, I have been dreaming. I've just been too tired. I, I, I didn't have the energy to get up and record, and I know that's a shame on me. That's my bad, my fault. But you guys, like sometimes when I'm working so much, I just, I just need those extra minutes to sleep in a little bit. So last night, I had a very interesting dream. My ex was in it, and I ain't gonna tell y'all which ex. Stop asking down below or in my DMs or Twitter or wherever. Like, I'm not telling you which one. I have a, few, a handful of exes that are like, you know, permanent in my brain type thing, okay? So this ex specifically was a very long time ago. And he had contacted me, I don't know how in my dream, because it doesn't show me that, about hanging out and just catching up. And I was like, oh, okay, that's like, you know, simple enough that I can be like, oh, this is just like a friend type of brunch or whatever. Like, I'm not thinking anything of it. But just to let y'all know, my personality, I do come up very flirtatious. And a lot of people always think that I'm intentionally doing it when really that's just my personality. Like, just to get into my astrology a little bit, one of my best friends, she really, really is into that. She loves learning about that kind of stuff. And she actually looked up my birth chart for me, and I'm an Aries, Aries, Leo. <laughs> Basically, crazy, crazy, and even more crazy. <laughs> but the interesting part is, my moon, I guess, is um, which is the way that you love, is in the form of Taurus, which I was very interested in. I was like, whoa, I didn't know that. Like, I'm going to have to look more into that, because I don't know much about Taurus. I know a lot about Aries. <laughs> and I am definitely a freaking Aries over here, baby. But besides that, in my dream, we meet up at this restaurant. We're talking. We're chatting. And I don't know what we were talking about. I think in the beginning, he was just asking me how I've been doing. Do I have a boyfriend? Do I have any kids? Like, just the regular conversation. And I was, you know, keeping up. And then I was just like... Yeah, I just, you know, been focused on working a lot, um, revamping my YouTube because I really need to revamp that and I'm trying to get more serious with it and not just keep it as a side thing. So, yeah, that's basically what's been going on. He was like, oh, okay, that sounds like a lot of fun. I watched a couple of your videos, blah, 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 like casual conversation. And then all of a sudden he's like, so when do you want to hang out? And I was like, excuse me? what in my head this is what i said i was like excuse the fuck me excuse what huh bitch what and i was just like haha stop being so funny like don't you got a girl and he was like yeah but i'm being serious and i was just like you're being serious what do you mean you're being serious like you have a girl don't you have a baby on the way and he was like yeah i do and i was like well congratulations do you know if it's a girl or a boy and he was like well i hope it's a girl i think it's gonna be a girl and i was like oh i hope it's gonna be a girl for you too and then he was like but for real though you're not gonna answer my question and i was just like we just talked about you and your girl and how you having a baby on the way like what excuse me huh mind you guys real life i don't know if he has a girlfriend or if he's with a girlfriend or if he even has a baby on the way i don't know this is my dream okay so then he he um he was just like no stop playing like i'm trying to find out and i was just like yeah okay so then i get up real close to his face and i'm like what are you trying to find out huh what is it that you want like super close to his face like i'm about to kiss him type thing he don't do anything he don't try to kiss me or nothing and i was like yeah that's what i thought hesitant especially in public right and he was just like Brooke stop playing you know I can't be doing that I'm like yeah whatever like whatever and then this bitch comes from like around the corner the other way and she goes hi guys and he just like looks up at her like oh my god here we go type thing so he gets up walks outside real quick for like a minute and she sits down next to me so he was sitting here I was sitting here and she sits over here and I was like, can I help you? And she's like, um, who are you? 
and what are you two doing here? And I was like, first of all, who the fuck are you? And we're just having a friendly brunch catching up because I've known him for a very long ass time. I just haven't seen him in a long ass time. That's it. And she was just like, oh, well, it seems like you guys were getting into it a little more than that, especially with the way that you're trying to come at him. I said, bitch, trying to come at who? Do you even fucking know me? No, obviously the fuck not. So I don't know who you think you are trying to pop up over here like you know everything because obviously you fucking don't. And she was just like, well, I am his girlfriend's best friend. And from what I could see, something looked like was going to happen or was going on. And I was like, bitch, you can make up whatever the fuck you want in your head. But obviously you don't know what the fuck's going on. So you can go and kick rock this. And she was just like, well, I'm just letting you know that I know his girlfriend and they are having a kid and and she's this month this month's pregnant or whatever and they're very happy so I don't know what you're trying to do trying to break them two up blah blah blah, blah. and I was like bitch first of all you don't fucking know me second of all this is a friendly fucking brunch so I don't know what crawled up your ass to come over here and get up all of our motherfucking business get the fuck out and kick rocks and she was just like you know like making like faces like whatever as i'm trying to tell her that and then as i as i finish my sentence the ex walks back in he sits down and he's like what the fuck are you doing here janine like mind your business why are you always following me and i was like what you mean she's following you and he was like well she's always following me i don't know why and i was just like so she's stalking you because she probably likes you too or is she really your girlfriend's best friend and he was like maybe both and i was like oh bitch is that why you came over here trying to come at me because you was in love with him too <laughs> ah! like your best friend's in love with him and you're in love with him too that's a fucking problem get the fuck out of here and he was just like seriously why you gotta interrupt we were literally almost done like we was about to leave and pay and she was just like well i just wanted to make sure there was nothing else going on and i was like can you get the fuck out of here before i, I fuck you up like seriously so she gets up, she walks away, and he gets up, he walks away, he's like, oh, I'm sorry about that, um, here, I'll cover, I'll cover whatever, how much was it? I said it was $35.50, and he was like, okay, puts down 30 bucks, a 20 and a 10, I said, all right, well, have a good one, and he walks the other way, and then I look down, I'm paying the check, I put another 10.50 down, or whatever, I don't even remember, but what I do remember is, as I go up to go pay, I'm looking at the money he put down, the 20 was good, but the 10 was suspect it was fake it was fucking fake it was printed on crooked it had 10 in the corners and then it said 99 dollars what so i flipped it over on the back side on the back side it says disneyland money and then a whole paragraph of where i could use it and i was like excuse the fuck mate what is this like i was so annoyed i was like i have never seen this in my life so i had to pocket that and put the put the rest of the actual money back in and I was like what the fuck is this is this a sign should I be going to fucking Disneyland huh like should I be making vacation plans and going there like I'm so confused what what huh uh, okay so I start walking outside and as I'm walking outside from the corner of my eye I see um a black SUV with two two dudes that are like dressed up real nice suit and tie type thing with like earpieces in and they go like this yeah uh-huh okay great they they just got in their car and they drove off the other way and i was like what the fuck was that like were they watching me was that janine's crew were they watching him my ex like that's creepy okay and then i get in my car and i'm looking at this ten dollar thing and i'm trying to read all of it but i can't read all of it all like the first i can only read the first sentence which was this money can be used at disneyland and then like the rest of it was blurry. I could not read it. But what I could read was that it was a 10 and I said $99 and it was crooked. So I'm like, what the hell is this? Like, is this a sign? Am I supposed to be doing something? Am I supposed to be going somewhere? I don't get it. Like what? <laughs> I don't get it. But that was my dream last night. Very simple, very basic. I woke up kind of like, huh? what <laughs> I just I, I don't I don't know I don't get it but anyways I hope you guys like make sure you subscribe make sure you hit that bell for any notifications let me know down below if you had any dream that you were on dates with exes that you haven't seen in a long time how did it turn out was it an argument did you guys start killing each other did someone else come in and interrupt 
let me know down below because I love hearing the stories. <laughs> and I just, I would love, I would just love to hear somebody else's stories for once, you know? I will catch you guys in the next one, okay? Bye!